I'm uh, Matt Ward. I'm with Mind Music Labs. We're here at Superbooth 2019, and we're showing off our music operating system, Elk. And what Elk is, is it's, a, it's a, an operating system similar to how Android is an operating system for a phone. We developed this software operating system, which we license to hardware developers who then develop hardware. And Elk runs either VST or rack extension plugins in hardware at very, very low latencies, as low as sub one millisecond latency round trip. So it's a, an excellent choice for hardware developers who want to create instruments, guitar amp processors, drum machines, digital mixing consoles, multi-effects racks, many, many, many applications for Elk's OS at the heart of a hardware product. And the ability to leverage the vast ecosystem of high quality VST and rack extension plugins so that you can productize instruments and all these different kinds of, of, of tech music and audio technologies is what makes Elk so powerful. Hardware uh, manufacturers currently, they develop a hardware product, they also have to develop all the software for it. So Elk allows to connect together this huge ecosystem of high quality uh, plug-in processors and instruments that are out there with hardware companies. What it means is, is greater choice, more power, and greater, uh, better products for less cost. Because you have uh, the ability to now, hardware developers can deliver a product that let's say comes with a couple of instruments that are really cool, but you can then go online and go to the Elk World website, which is our, our website where Elk Powered by Elk titles are available, and you can download different instruments. So maybe you bought something, it was a one flavor of analog synth, and you find two, three other analog synths that you want to download and they'll run on it, and they work on, uh, they'll work with it. Another huge benefit is what we call studio to stage. So because the hardware devices that you would use in a live context, let's say, run the exact same code base as the, as the plug-in, you use the plug-in version in, with your DAW in a session, creating the presets and sounds, you do all your sound design in the studio, and then those presets can just be uploaded to the cloud, your cloud account with Elk World, and then downloaded right to the hardware device to go on stage and it plays the exact same preset. So the ability to go from studio to stage is a really, really powerful benefit for the musician. We have a, a, a desktop synthesizer here um, that, that we developed. And this is just an example. Um, this is a, uh, uh, you've got a, a, a very uh, layout of, of some very uh, common controls for an analog synthesizer. You've got three oscillators, you've got a mixer, you've got a filter section with its own envelope, you've got an LFO, and you've got an amplifier section. So very, very familiar. Anybody's used to working with analog synthesizers could walk right up and use this thing. But in reality, what's running inside is a VSTI, a, VS, a VST instrument. In this case, it's a Steinberg Retrolog 2. But the, it could be many, many different uh, uh, VST instruments which are have been ported and supported uh, by Elk. So of course, you could also download another instrument into it and do a, have a completely different synthesizer sound. Um, so there's, there's really three layers of GUI. I can show you a little bit here where we So the responsiveness is, is, is really, really great. It's very, very, uh, very fast. The latency is really low. It's extremely playable. Um, works exactly like, like a, an analog synthesizer like you're used to, but there are actually more parameters that, that many plugins have, and the, the Retrolog is no exception, than what's been put on the front panel here. So all of those parameters are of course available in the full VST version, but because um, Elk runs on very standard off-the-shelf processors, it, it's very easy to develop um, Wi-Fi connected apps for your, or Bluetooth connected apps for a mobile phone. And Elk actually includes a very uh, sophisticated API so that you can develop mobile applications for it. So you could, for example, 
have, maybe you'd have 10 different VSTIs that you have running on this one box, all of which use the same common controls, filters and oscillators and amplifiers, but the unique parameters of those, each of those 10 instruments would show up on a mobile device. So even in a live situation, you could make edits and changes, even create a new preset, even download a new instrument or a new set of presets from the, from the cloud via the mobile device. So that, that tiered, you know, all knob, just like an analog uh, device uh, that you have uh, on the, with the hardware, is one layer of the, of the UI. Then there's another layer with a little more complexity with the, with the phone and then the full-blown VST. The first um, Elk product that's going to be on the market is the uh, DV Mark Smart Multiamp. That that is a, uh, a guitar amplifier with with no doesn't even have a screen on it. It's like this. It's all just knobs. Any guitar player could walk up to it and make it work. But it's actually running a huge suite of plugins from uh, Overloud. So many many different amplifiers, many many different speaker cabinet emulations, dozens of effects. Very very complex plugin that just runs on the hardware. And in between is that mobile, the mobile device, which is part of the, part of the release. It comes with the, the, the purchase of the amp that allows you to tweak some additional parameters, download new sounds and do things like that. So if you're on the gig and you realize, oh, I've got a, there's another preset that I, I didn't download that I've got, you can do it from the phone. You can edit parameters. You want to change something about a sound a little bit on the gig. You can do it with the phone on the gig. Same situation with a, with a synthesizer, it's the same situation with a drum machine or looper or whatever whatever product it is that that's out power. So on, on on this end, what we wanted to show was how um, you could take a, a, a more kind of modular or Euro rack kind of approach to building the digital hardware, and we also wanted to show how uh, the power of our partnership with Propellerhead. Um, so we partnered with Propellerhead with the rack extension format. Um, rack extension is a really interesting plug-in format because it has this kind of middleware. It's, it's actually an intermittent bit code is what it's called. But basically what that means is when we ported the first um, uh, rack extension plug-in to Elk, all rack extensions will run. So it's, it's a very, um, we don't, uh, uh, all the developers don't have to do any work. It's basically all these individual developers, they're just kind of up on Elk and working. So that's a, that's a very, very powerful thing because it increases the, the, the choice, um, both for the companies who want to develop hardware and for the customers, right, for, for users. They've got lots and lots of uh, uh, choices right off the bat, right out of the gate. So this um, is now running, uh, there's actually a, an Elk development board inside, so it's a digital um, uh, processor and a, a, it's a digital, digital product, but it's running the Korg Poly 6 um, rack extension plugin. And so that's what's uh, actually making the, making the noise here. And, um, and so the, you've got all the parameter, parameter control you're used to with a synthesizer. But in, in addition to that, you have a um, control voltage out and control voltage in. So this is actually interfaced in a rack. It's a digital modular synthesizer running a plug-in and it's interfaced with a bunch of analog equipment that's part of the same rack. And you can control the analog uh, synthes uh, synthesizers or elements by via control voltages out of the digital and vice versa. So, so I'm actually adjusting the, controlling the, 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 the parameters of the digital modular via the, um, the analog and vice versa. So really, really a, a powerful way to kind of integrate digital and analog together in the synthesis world. And again, this is running one particular uh, instrument, but it could be running many, many. So I think really the advantage for musicians um, with Elf is that they're going to see a lot of products start to come on the market that are powered by Elf and that those products are going to be compatible with, with this vast array of plugins, all the VSTs and, and rack extensions that are out there that are supported by Elk. And it's going to increase their choice, their ability to customize their own systems. They're going to be able to, to, you know, to share and uh, upgrade and uh, propagate you know, their music and, their, uh, and, and as well as their tool sets 
and really easily uh, transfer what they do in the studio, the sound design they do in the studio, to what they're doing on stage.